today I, I want to talk about what is now unfolding in the church. I, I, I am not one of those who will say the African church, the American church, the Asian church, or the Australian church, whatever tag you might tag on a church, the church of Christ is one body. There is no Jew, no Greek, no black, no white, no European, no African. We know no men after the flesh. Now I want to talk about what I am seeing unfolding in Africa. You see, God is now opening up the eyes of people. We are now seeing exactly what Satan has been doing with these Pentecostals, with these prosperity pimps, people like Matthew Ashimolo, people like Eddie Long, the American who died of HIV, people like Chris Oyekilome, people like Tudo Bismarck. There are so many, I can't even finish them. But today I want to concentrate on one wolf called Otter Bill Mensa. Now he is detaching himself from what is happening in the Pentecostal churches. He now wants to play the clean man that hey, the African church must be taught doctrine. The African church must be taught about the Holy Spirit, which is good. But let me ask you, Mr. Otter Bill Mensa, when you were associating with the heretic Mike Maddock from America, when you were associating with Benny Hinn, Juanita Bynum, all these heretics who were invited by Matthew Ashimoloy to KICC, did you put this African tag that hey, the African church has got problems? Did you start to know about the problems of the African church in this time of the year, in 2024. What were you doing with Eddie Long, with Creflo Dollar, with Juanita Bynum sharing the same stage with them? Let me be personal. When Eddie Long was abusing boys in America, over 30 years, when did you start to know that Eddie Long was a sodomite? Or after knowing, you closed your mouth because you were profiting at KICC. Because you, Otter Bill Mensa, preach for money, you preach for, for cash, you are a hireling. Jesus classifies you as a hireling. He says when a hireling sees a wolf coming, they run away. When did you know, Ota Bill Mensa, that Eddie Long was a sodomite? When did you know that Juanita Bynum was a sodomite or, or, or was a lesbian? When did you know that T.D. Jakes had issues with men? When did you know about that? Now you are coming, playing Mr. Smart, saying, yeah, the African church must be taught true, true doctrine. The African church must be taught about the Holy Spirit. The African church must be taught about God. Now, my question is simple. When did you know that the African church has got a problem? Why? You are now trying to play Mr. Clean. People are waking up to see the problems of the heresies of the Pentecostal movement, the wealth, health and wealth movement, the prosperity gospel, the name it and claim it gospel, the nonsense which Chris Oyokilome was preaching about money. People are waking up. They are seeing that you are deceiving them. Now, you are now trying to be a chameleon you now want to turn away 
from the mess you are in, but you want to pretend as if you are clean. You are not clean, Mr. Mensa. Go to the people you were deceiving with Ed Long at KICC and tell them that we were sharing the pulpit with a man who was abusing boys. You know the stories of Ed Long. You know his cases with the boys. You know the out-of-court settlement he made with the boys he was abusing. When did you know about that, Otter Bill Mensa? Tell me. Why? You want to continue deceiving people, but polishing them. You bite and you polish. You are the same with these American heretics. Like Ted Eddie Long, T.D. Jakes, Benny Hinn, Noel Jones, all these wolves from America. You share the blame with them. Now you want to say, hey, the African church has got problems. Blah, blah, blah. My foot. You are one of those people who are deceiving children of God. Why? You are preaching for money. Everything you are doing, you are doing for cash. Now you are trying to put the wool on some of us, we know the name of the game. You people who think Otta Bill Mensa is taking you to heaven, I want to tell you the truth. This man is lost. He is part and parcel of the road. Thank you.